Okay, here's just a quick little update on on the table again. Uh, today I cut out some pieces of aluminum angle iron and I cut the one leg down. These are going to be my uh, physical stops. On the top I'll drill and tap and mount my uh, micro switches for the limits. Uh, so I have one there and one on this side. Same thing on the opposite end. Um, on my gantry double drilled through some one inch uh, square tube and uh, attached through the inside there and these are my stops. I didn't completely carry this over to the end so uh, the stops for my carriage on the left and on the right there and I'm gonna finish those off with some little felt or rubber bumpers there and put some little caps on there make them look nice. Uh, like I posted yesterday, I have the E-chain all squared away. One thing I did do today, uh, had another piece of E-chain laying here. So I just turned it on its side, zip stripped it down, and used that to turn the corner just so I don't have uh, cables hanging out there. Routed everything up nice and neat, and ran my wires in have everything nice and labeled so I know where everything goes. So here's my control box. Run through the power. Turn on the motors. And you hear them lock up. So we'll do just a little test here. This is just in uh, in test mode right now since I don't have all the modules and everything hooked up. So See, we'll do a reset. Everything's good to go. And uh, let's see if I could do this. There we go. Get some video going here. I got good movement there. And uh, I don't know if it's just motor tuning, but uh, this is some really slow movement here. I don't know if it's just my gear reduction or if I have some tuning to do on the motors. But uh, seems like it's moving awful slow to me. I'm assuming it should be moving a lot faster than this, and it's just that this is in test mode. And you can see. Z's moving up and down. So, so there we go. If you got any feedback for me on this on this speed on this uh, on this gantry, and I'm not sure, but uh, units per minute is 98. So I know it uh, it should be higher than that. So. I don't know if it's just tuning I have to do on the motors to get more speed out of it or if I'm just off on figuring my gear reduction. So there it is. And for cross table it seems it seems like we're turning pretty fast there, or at least fast enough, but there you can see gears working there. But it just seems like the, uh, the whole setup should be moving faster than that. So anyway, there's progress today. Uh, got all my wiring done. You can see I have the cover off my 1250. 
uh, hooking up the uh, the boards in there and uh, doing the wiring I need in there and I'll be swapping out the hand torch for the mach machine torch here in the next day or two and uh, oh had to run out to the store e better get to Safeway and get home mama needs her her food so <laughs> so that's a nice little update uh, coming to life and uh, getting really close there I think uh, I just have to put my slat system in put some expanded metal over here put my anti rust in there um, finish doing a little bit of wiring on the uh, on the 1250 into the expansion boards and uh, hook up all the modules the digital torch height control get that all plugged in and uh, by the end of this week should be seeing some sparks fly so that's my update for tonight and uh, Y'all have a good rest of the weekend.